we use slam poetry and fusion music to revive the lost arts. We talk about the extremes. It's something that Shakespeare would never ever like. We talk about diseases, we talk about genocide, we talk about social insecurities. And there's one thing we all love, and that's a fun thing we talk about love, we talk about that too. And with Free the Words, that's what we are doing. And no poetry performance is complete without this tinge of fusion music that we do uniquely. So let's take you off for a ride. But there's one thing that you guys have to do. So in the slam poetry circuit, we call this thing snapping. Chutki bajana. The whole concept of snapping is you raise your hand up. The slam book, can, can I have every hand up, please, guys? Like, be happy, you're one day, it's just 12 30, right? So, what we do is, this, this is going to be a slam book, somebody's performing there. Any word which connects with you, any sentence which connects with you, any theme which connects with you, at that particular moment, what you do is you just keep on snapping. And I'll tell you why it's cool. It's not clapping. With snapping, you add the rhythm to the poetry. So, can we have a huge burst of snapping together, guys? Come on, we can do this, we can do better. Oh, Lord. Look at your faces. You, you guys have your endorphins running, so everything's fine now. So I hope you like what we have, and uh, we just perform a lot of times, and it's good to give back to the community. So heavier. And this is the Nala Syndrome. So when you're 14 and you think you love a boy, I want you to stop for a while. Stop thinking about that smile that thinking of him gives to you. Stop fixing your hair because that's the way he likes it. Leave it true to your own colors the mighty sun strikes it. Stop marking your eyes with 50 shades of black because that way it will be sexier. Leave it unbruised and open to see the one they call your name. So when you're 17 and you think you love a boy, I want you to stop. Stop texting for a while, the bright blank blinking screen of your phone is blinding, he is too busy to reply. Stop believing that the complex planets that make up your universe revolve, revolve, revolve around it, even gravity can be denied the right to bind you, so wind the clock with they call destiny later. So stop facing someone else's smile on your face, it doesn't sit well. It doesn't fit well at all, repeating photos of arched backs and angled legs that beg, that beg for a glimpse of you. Titan's burden were heavy boulders, but yours down, down. is on bony shoulders, so stop doodling your surname behind yours. Familiarize the tip of your tongue with the reverberation no, of your own me. and pray that it may one day crown your mother's head with pride, because careless doodles will morph into four signatures you could change if you try. So when you're about 20 and you think you love a boy, I want you to stop. Stop going the extra mile because you think you can't breathe without him. Let there be enough layers of above, let there be enough layers above and beneath your skin for him to peel back one by one to know your naked soul. Let him love the curves curve of your feet like he would those around your hips. Your lips will never be like the ones they show on, they show on TV. But let him be welcomed by gentle lips. And gentler hands, the gentlest man who ever lived, not at all. So don't let unwelcome, greedy hands that claim to cleanse their sins or your skins touch you. Because pulling away would disappoint. The point of view was never to impress upon him parts of you commercialized, perverted, to appeal to appease him. Let the lust meander instead. Let the lust meander and set in the back of your head, over your shoulder bones, through your arteries that pump the blood that's pumped by your own heart. Let not every puberty stricken boy blue tell you which parts of you are sexier, which moves of yours, unlike Jagger's, make you look dorky, a little poke in your heart. How you could look thinner, slimmer, a winner if you wore that, not a hat, something shorter, something hotter. How about nothing at all? <laughs> so if you're just a girl and you think you love this boy, there's so much I want you to do. To not to, I ought to, should have called you and stalled you and asked you to stop because all these years you thought you loved those boys and all those boys like skeletons of old toys once very close to you now lay at the back of the cupboard reminding you of what once was. Love, you forgot to love yourself. Given all you had, parts of you detached, your heart has belonged to some place outside your ribcage for far too long, it will no longer regenerate. De degenerating your rooted tree to a creeper, you now creep the stronger and the stranger for support covers such a shouts of patriarchy and call it symbiotic relations of psychotic fear, anxiety, and a lower self-esteem convince you of your paralysis, you can no longer breathe without him. You can no longer dream without him, your tears stream without him, can't pull up your sleeves without him. It's so very goddamn romantic. How frantic you change outfits so often, your own skin feels like one. You just can't seem to slip out of you are slipping. I can't catch you, you are falling. But this time, I hope not in love. 
Thank you. This is called fight so. In an urban kitchen in Delhi, a child asks his mother what an AK-47 is. In Pakistan, a girl searches ISIS on Google Chrome. There are guns and hands that are too small for triggers. See, this passion for destruction is a baby for now. But it's growing milk teeth somehow and learning to say fight. So in one part of the internet, one video reaches 50 million. On the other, there's a video of a bloody boy in Syria. So covered in dust, his skin looks great. Like you turned him to ash even before you could stop his heart. Like you turned him to dust because you're running out of coffins the size of children who don't know whether a porn video reaches 50 million or not because the only million they can see are the pieces of collateral damage that lie around them, proving that anything they'll ever stand for will always come down. That done and undone are the opposites in the dictionary, but an eventual result to everything lying scattered. We've hated with such passion, made castles in place of hearts, with walls of indifference and moats of duality, I feel we're sinking. Looking at the sky for a god to give us reason, I think we are the bulldozer that we've been looking to blame. Like a suicide bomber whose body could never be named. What's a name but an alibi to all this hate? Our bodies are wrecking balls that are no longer Miley Cyrus, exploding with splinters that end up faster than a sobbing phone call. We've hated with such Fashion, we wear it like a badge. Walk protest marches like this world is still short of tags. We riot for the riots that haven't reached the streets yet, damn it. You re-question your discrimination, call it difference instead, I feel we are sinking. Losing ourselves in this rainfall of hate, this thunder clapping for the spectacle we make of love, love. It's the only thing we know nothing of. We brought Aleppo down to coffee table discussions as if there weren't enough dead children to make the news already. We make past day conversations about the death tolls rising, yet our heartbeats don't rise to candles, to hell with your candles. We need forest fires for this red canvas that can never look like art. We've turned this world into an intangible Bermuda's triangle. That swallowing hope like geometry could ever save our lives. This isn't working out. I see compassion rolling away like a broken bicycle tire. And my heart can't deal with these extensive wars. I'm sick of you. Of all of you. Of the days when your hypocrisy made you a socialist on the streets, an anarchist in the sheets. I'm sick of you. Hell, fuck your feminism and fuck your patriarchy, and fuck anyone you wanted to fuck this year, fuck them like you want them more than this fucking hate, and if that isn't enough, then go fuck yourself. On New Year's Eve, at 11.59, I've heard you gotta love yourself before you can begin to love this world, quit your job. Take off, take everything off, and let people see that behind this internalized homophobia, this Facebook narcissism, this carefully constructed self-love caption is a love for beauty. See, everything screaming, love me, love me, love me. We've forgotten loving. So if it takes you a war to start loving again, then fight. Your greatest enemy within you fight for everything you haven't touched in a while. These are wars that may or may never be won, but they must always be fought because we need to remind ourselves over and over that we are our own lifeline and life hope and life raft in a speeding car on a thunderstorm sky. Some days you won't have vipers to see better. On those days, remind yourself that you are your own life gift and life dream and also the best thing that will ever happen to you. Just make some space. Give up this hate. You are your own life.